everyone, Paul here. Today I'm going to be going over a strategy using uh, using all the the indicators that I talked about previously, but we'll be adding uh, we'll be adding an auto uh, Fibonacci tool. Now I'm going to try to run this through. I'll uh, probably run this through Bitcoin, but it, it'll work for uh, it'll work for the stock market too. Maybe we'll, we'll look at stock market too. But uh, how to use the auto Fibonacci? If you guys don't know how to do Fibonacci yourself, then this auto Fibonacci tool will come in handy. It can help you find those uh, moments of support and resistance. Those are the moments where, uh, where where you might find it going down, or if it's not holding, it'll. You know, it'll help you, and it, for options, it helps you with this too. But uh, let's just take a look at to see how to set it up with the uh, auto Fibonacci tool. Okay, so I'm going to use Bitcoin as an example. So uh, even though I use RSI and the Impulse MACD, and I also use, uh, I'm about to remove one of these, but uh, I use the three smooth moving averages and I have five eights and 20. That's that's my main formula that I use for trading. But I'm just going to remove the impulse right now. And we're going to load up the um, auto Fibonacci. It's called the auto, auto Fibonacci extension. We're going to use that one. So what this does is it automatically puts a extension here. So what I like doing here, it, it shows you the zones of where there's, you know, basically where it will be bouncing from, most likely be bouncing from if there's not enough support or resistance. So what I like doing is I like going on the day of whichever stock or whichever one this is. Uh, so I go on the day first. Let's see, I've already done it before, but let me just redo it. Let's just remove these. So what I like doing is I like looking, I like looking to see where the candles are at right now, and I, I draw a line, especially on the day here. I'll draw a line right here. I'll draw a little line there. Make it. I'll make it yellow. And I draw that line. I'll call. And I want to make sure I note this. This is the day top. And then we got here, and we can go all the way down here to the bottom. We got to look at where the where the it's the closest to where the candles are going. You don't want to go necessarily down here because unless the candles start going down here, you want to go to the range of basically where the candles are at. So if you go, the next one would be right here. So I would draw a line right here. So I'm going to draw a line right where the candles are. Right around where the candles are at, which is right about here. So I draw it right there. And I'll call this the day, day bottom. And then what I do is we can also look at this on the weekly and see what we got. Man, looks I already drew I already drew the bottom here for the weekly. See we got it. We don't have it for the top. But that's the, the weekly bottom. We want to make sure we get to the weekly top, which is again it's right around where the, the candles are moving. So this right here would be about the weekly, the weekly top, which would be right here. So I would draw a note here and say weekly top. So then what I do is I go in. So we got the weekly top, top and bottom. We got the daily top. I go in a little closer. Maybe I'll do the 15 minute. Zoom in just a little bit closer, and we get to see, we get a little bit closer to see where it is going in the last 15 minutes. So, and I, I do, 
I do a weekly, a daily, and then a smaller time frame. I don't do like the five minute because that's just it's too fast, too soon. It'll it's always you always have to be changing it if it, there's a lot of movement. For the fifteen minute, I would draw a line right here, and then I draw a line right about here because that's right around where the candles are at. So this is the fifteen minute. Fifteen minute top, and this is the fifteen minute bottom. So what I do now is I start. I don't do any more lines. You know, I get the weekly because you know if you're doing this on a desktop, uh, it's not as cluttery. But if you do it on your phone, it's a lot of clutter. It'll look a little bit better on a desktop. But what I do, if I'm doing any kind of trades, I can then turn off the auto extension here. We basically can look at it on the five minute and we can basically say from that, if it goes, if it goes anywhere near this 15 minute bottom, it's probably going to have a, a bounce. If it goes anywhere close to this 15 minute top, it's probably going to have a bounce down. And if it gets gets past this 15 minute bottom it's probably going to go a little bit further down to the next level which would be the day bottom so the day bottom's just there just to make sure if there's a big move but right now it looks like it it will be bouncing between the 15 top and the 15 bottom so that's kind of what i do i draw my three lines i draw it on the weekly you know between where the candles are moving i draw it on the weekly the daily and the 15 minute and then I'll look at my trades on the five so that's kind of how I do it with this strategy and once you draw your lines you can bring bring back your uh, impulse MACD there and uh, you can basically do your trades with my formula with you know with the 5820 and the RSI and you can make your judgment calls on that but let's real quickly look at this with the stock market let's look at SPY Real quick, let's see. We might be able to do this with Spy. See if we get any good results. I'm gonna walk this one through real quick with uh, Spy. So first, we're gonna look at the weekly. Gonna look at the weekly, and then we're gonna put in our Auto Fibonacci right here. So what we're gonna do now? This I haven't really tested that with the stock market, but I think it would perform really well. So what we want to do is we want to draw our our line close to where the candles are at. So that would be right here. That is, this is going to be the weekly top. And then we go to the lowest point of where the candles are at, which is right here. I already drew that line. If that is a line. But I draw right about here. This is the bottom of the weekly. So we would say this is the weekly bottom. Right there. So the next thing I do is I move on to the day. And then we go, we look at where the candles are at on the day. And we get to the closest point, and that would be right, right here. So this is, this is the day top. And the day bottom would be It depends on where you're looking, but I would say the day bottom is right here. Right about there. Or if you want, you know, if you want to break it down, you don't have to go into the weekly, daily, and a uh, small time frame. You can focus on just like the 15 minute. And on the 15 minute, you just draw out the lines from the Fibonacci. 
So this is the the day bottom. Okay, day top, day bottom. So now we just have to look at it on the 15 minute. Look at it on the 15 minute and we see the closest Fibonacci would be right around here. So this would be this would be the 15 minute bottom. And this up here would be the 15 minute top. So what I would do is I would look at this on the five minute and I get a closer look at it. Since the market isn't moving right now, I'd basically make my decision on if it touches the 15 minute bottom. If it touches the 15 minute bottom, it'll probably bounce back up. If it gets anywhere close to the 15 minute top, it'll probably bounce down. So that's probably what's, that's an easy way to attack bounces and top and bottom support resistance on these key levels. So I go to the weekly, I do it on the weekly, I do it on the monthly, and then I do it on a 15. And then I, then I do my actual trades on, on the five minutes. So that's kind of how it works. And then once you have your Fibonacci drawn out, I like drawing out and seeing the lines. And then I'll bring back the impulse, you know, if you're doing this on a free account. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll bring back your impulse, MACD. And then the importance of the impulse MACD is midline, make it white. Bring that out. Now the purpose of this is I make all these blue, blue, pass the all the way up, blue, pass the all the way up, make this a line, make it blue, pass the all the way up. Blue, pass the all the way up. Okay, so that's checked. We got the midline, and then the MAC DC. I'll make it like orange. Pass the all the way up, and I check everything else off. So we don't need everything else, and then it'll end up looking like this. So what you can tell right here is that the spy right now is going it's going uh, sideways right now so it's not a good time to trade until the market opens but if we look at it with bitcoin we can see that bitcoin is going down it's on a downtrend right now and you can see that with the 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 5 8 20 see with the rsi and you did I draw my lines on bitcoin Must not have. Oh, where's it at? Oh, there, there are my lines. Anyway, that's what I would do for the Fib, uh, auto Fib, uh, Fibonacci. It's good, good moments to do this when you can find bounces doing this, and it's very helpful. Anyway, uh, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. See you guys in future videos.